Hey guys, welcome back. All right, I wanted to show you just a few of the stationary things that I got for myself for my birthday. It was my birthday in January and I know I wanted to kind of keep spending low this year for mostly stationary and craft items. Well, just in general, because I, I want to save for vacation. That's the biggest goal this year. Um, but I know a majority of my money goes to craft supplies and stationery, and so this year, uh, that is my main focus. But I couldn't resist because it is my birthday month, and I did want to knock out a couple things off my wish list that I've wanted to get for a long time, and thought I'd share. So the first thing that I got is this Walnuts, uh, this Noodler's Walnut Ink. And I've used a sample of this from the Goulet Pen Shop, I don't know, like three or four years ago when I put in a big ink sampler order. And I was testing a lot of inks to see which ones I liked, which ones I didn't. Noodler's is a good quality ink for the price. I didn't really want to spend large amounts of money on ink, mostly because I go through phases of using my fountain pen and then not using the fountain pen. And because I got the yellow lamy here as part of a Christmas gift, I wanted to have a nice ink that went with it. And the walnut ink is a nice brown. I kind of wanted to evoke this old timey feeling of almost like a handmade ink, you know, using a dip pen on a cream colored parchment, sort of a feel. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but I just wanted to evoke that kind of vintage old timey feel and the wa walnut ink um, did that. So that was one thing that I wanted to get. And now I have an ink that I can use with my yellow lamy. I got one of these, um, a set of these like pen clips because I was trying to look for a clip that would fit fountain pens basically um, because I, most of us know that the ones that come with the traveler's notebook are very, I don't think a lot of fountain pens fit that unless you just let it clip on. Um, you don't put the actual barrel of it in. And I wanted something a bit more secure for my fountain pen just because I, I do want to start using it more now that I've got it inked up and I have a, the yellow one that I've always wanted. And um, I came across these on Amazon. They come in a set of eight like this and you get four silver ones and then four black ones. Um, comes in this little case which is actually pretty nice for storing. I have one here on this traveler's notebook. I've got one on my Pat's passport size, and then my husband took one for his planner. And um, these have been great so far. I think uh, this was a great buy. I don't really consider that as like a birthday gift, um, but I'll include it in here because it is something that I bought this month that is stationary related. And um, it's pretty secure. I don't really find a problem with them. The reviews are kind of mixed on Amazon, but um, they've been really handy. They fit it perfectly. I find um, no problem with it, and I like it a lot. So they were very reasonably priced. And then I got the Traveler's Notebook Clips. These are the brass ones. I got them on jet pens. Um, a little bit on the weightier side than your average um, clip. So if you do, you know, add this onto your traveler's notebook, it can add more weight to it if your traveler's notebook is already pretty weighty. But I love it. They look pretty. They're going to only get better with age. And I've got a the brass traveler's notebook pen case here, and I've had that for a few years. And it's already aging nicely. It's getting the marks from the sitting out, so I can only imagine what the clips will look like after a lot of use but I usually just kind of have them clipped off to the side like this when I'm traveling with them when I'm traveling I wish when I'm walking around with my traveler's notebook around the house so and then lastly I have this pack of blotting paper from 
uh, J, is it Herbin or Urban? I don't know. But um, this is not the type of consistency of paper that I thought the blotting paper would be. It's more like a, almost like a stiffer sketchbook paper feel. But so far it does soak up the fountain pen ink pretty well. It doesn't quite fit the traveler's notebook. As you can see, it's a lot wider. I've actually had to cut down about this much. I trimmed this part down so you actually don't see the words and you get the, you know, the pretty picture of that. Which I guess doesn't really matter in the end because you're just still blotting ink out and it's just going to get messy. But so far, I really like it. It's made in France. I also got this from Jet Pens. And, um... I really wanted that because now that I'm using the fountain pen a bit more in my journal, I wanted something a bit more absorbent than the graph paper sheet that I keep in with my journal. So those were the things that I got for, I guess, my birthday, my birthday month. And that's pretty much the majority of spending that I um, did for January. So I guess this is kind of like a check-in too for stationary buying. I didn't really uh, go out and do too much, which is great. I think I'm on a good roll. I am kind of tracking that, but um, I'm very happy with the things that I did get. Um, they were, like I said, on my wish list, and now I have them. So um, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.